Hey guys, Sean here with Briar Home Buyers, and today we're going to go over four tips for the first time home seller. So, uh, for the four tips first of all is the price is right. Uh, second tip, pack up before you sell. The third one, uh, never say no to a showing. And the fourth one, pictures say a thousand words. So, the first one, the price is right. Uh, if you're in a neighborhood market, and your house is worth $400,000 and you have 20 other houses equally as worth, equally worth, how to say that, $400,000 uh, and you're trying to list your house at $450,000, nobody's going to come look at your house. Uh, your agent probably told you you might be able to get $450,000, but if all the other houses are selling for four hundred, dollars and the other ones are listing at four hundred, dollars your house is worth $400,000. Uh, if it's the same as all the other ones, then nothing makes it special. And you have to come to terms with that and realize that the price is right. So you have to price the property uh, according to the market value. Um, a lot of people get tied up in the emotions of we lived here, we've raised a family. Uh, from the buyer's perspective, uh, they really aren't concerned with all that. They just want to know, they want to get a good deal or a fair deal on a good house that they can raise their family in and that they see themselves growing in. Uh, and that's who your client is. Your customer is the buyer and you need to be catering to that person who's going to spend and invest that amount of money into your property that you're trying to sell them. Second one is pack up your stuff before you decide to sell. Uh, no matter what your situation is, uh, it takes a little bit of time to get into the mindset of we're gonna sell our house. Unless something drastic happens, an emergency, a quick relocation for a job, a uh, medical emergency, uh, you have time to think about the fact that you're gonna sell your house. And whether or not it's an emergency or you have time to think about it, you need to be packing up your stuff before you decide to start showing, uh, taking pictures and listing your house. So if you have a bunch of clutter in your house, uh, you have a bunch of junk, uh, stuff you're just hoarding up, uh, packing away stuff that you don't need to live for the next two or three months uh, go ahead and pack that stuff up you're gonna have to pack it anyways this will actually make it easier on you when you do go to move so pack that stuff up put it in the attic put it in the basement put it in the garage put it in storage uh, do whatever you feel is best to get it out of sight uh, because when somebody comes in and they're looking at your house uh, all they're gonna be able to be focused on is the clutter and the junk that you have out and all your trinkets, uh, your doodads, your pictures, uh, keep the pictures up, it's decoration. But all your doodads that you have out in the house, that's all they're gonna be able to focus on. They're not gonna be able to come into a nicely staged house and see themselves living there. Uh, they can't imagine the holidays uh, where the family's in the living room in the kitchen and raising their kids there because all of your stuff's all over the house and they can't really focus on that. You want them to come in with a clean slate, a well-staged house, and you want them to be able to envision all of their stuff in there. In reality, you should only have what you need to live, and it should be staged properly where they can see the flow of the, of the house so that they know what rooms, uh, what activities go in what rooms. For instance, if you have three living rooms, some people do, uh, you need to designate and stage those living rooms differently for different activities. If one's for the kids, uh, one's for formal dining room or something like that, and one's for just TV room, uh, you need to stage all that stuff up so that they can see that and they're not like, well, why the heck do I need three living rooms? Uh, so yeah, let them focus on envisioning themselves living in that property. So go ahead and pack up your stuff is the key takeaway from that one. Uh, don't say no to a showing. When you go in to sell your house and you list it, be okay with the fact that most people work eight to five and they're gonna be looking at your property at nights and on weekends. Uh, so go ahead and be ready to come home, clean the house, and show the house. Leave and show the house uh, on any given night or weekend. Uh, that allows you to get the most traffic in your house and get a, a sale quicker. If you are very off standish with your agent and you don't work well with them um, and they're showing your house a lot or trying to and you just say no I don't have time I don't feel like it you're most likely going to extend the amount of time that your house is on the market and you may not even sell it so never say no to a showing 
Uh, fourth point is pictures say a thousand words. If you take uh, flip phone quality pictures of your house, uh, people aren't going to come look at it. So if you take super professional, high quality, uh, maybe even slightly photoshopped for color effects, I don't know anything about that stuff, but I've seen pictures that have done really well. If you have professional pictures done of your property, uh, that gets people more interested in your property. I know as I've gone through and scrolled through Zillow, those are the ones that stick out to me. Uh, if I'm looking through a list of five of the exact same houses, uh, four of them have just regular iPhone quality pictures, and then the four, fifth one is super high quality pictures that have been uh, modified color to make them pop. Uh, I'm going to be more interested in that one just for the simple fact that uh, it looks better. It has more curb appeal. I don't know what else you would call it, picture appeal. So those pictures are going to generate more traffic, get more people interested, and therefore have more showings generated and get more foot traffic within your house. Uh, so going from the back up, uh, the more showings you have, the more you need to focus on getting all the clutter out of your house and then your price needs to be right so that more people get offers in on your house. So to recap the four things that will help first time home sellers, price it right, uh, pack up before you sell, don't say no to a showing, and pictures say a thousand words, so get professional pictures. That's all I have for today's tips, guys. Uh, if you wanna learn more about your options, if we can help you out in any way, go fill out the form on our website or give us a call. And thanks, have a good day.